Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 Concert of Europe mod, where we are playing as Mexico. Now, we've got ourselves a significant event uh, for our current uh, political uh, situation going on here, besides the uh, war that uh, concerns our allies and the uh, spring of nations occurring in Europe. Uh, as liberal ideals have been spreading through Europe, so too are they spreading through Mexico. Uh, right now we uh, have the option, everywhere we go we can see the sounds and murmurings of political discussions. It is becoming abundantly clear that the people of Mexico are slowly waking up to more democratic traditions, and as a result, the ban of, on public meetings is being less and less enforced for every day that passes. We want the ban on public meetings gone, so we are going to let the law slip, Even if it means more social tensions, social tensions is just going to mean, uh, is just going to mean that, um, yeah, with that, uh, this government is more likely to, uh, collapse, which is good for our purposes. Now, in the meantime, yeah, the United States is getting its ass kicked and Austria is getting its ass kicked. That much, uh, that part, those, uh, portions of the war, that, uh, those t twin aspects of the war have not changed any. So it's possible that uh, Prussia might uh, form itself in early Germany. Uh, we'll have to see what results from that. Uh, other things that are presently happening, we've got ourselves a Saudi civil war in which uh, Oman and Najad are, take, are fighting against, uh, against uh, Ha'il. Um, Austria should be getting Hungary back, but uh, that's about the only thing they've got going for them right now. Um, I think Britain should be able to hold off France with its navy. I could be wrong, but um, yeah, if that occurs, I think Britain might end up winning this war. Um, would have won this war sooner if it weren't for if they didn't have any allies. Um, but in any case. You know, as soon as I uh, get artillery, which is really the most important uh, army tech I need, I'm going to be, uh, you know, I think I'm, uh, it's about time I started with railroads, mechanized mining, I need to work on my economy. Uh, but although research points are also very important. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Just uh, not another military tech. I'm going to have enough of those as soon as I have the better artillery. Time, let's look at our revolt risk. California seems to be the only place where there's a risk of it happening. So I will... I will have this army stick around San Diego. Yeah, Washington has been occupied for now the f by the British for now the third time. So essentially, we're relitigating the War of 1812 on a regular basis. Not sure if encouraging bureaucrats is doing much for our admin efficiency in Guatemala. Or if anything will. Rather wish Austria had not gotten itself involved at all. Anyway, yeah, there's our artillery researched. And, um, yeah, I will cut ahead to when shit happens, basically. Um... Start with railroad. Oh wow! Um, Texas has uh, te uh, reactionaries have just risen in Texas. Do they, I wonder if they have enough to be dealing with them? I'm not sure they do. That's nine regiments compared to their five. They could be able to do it. We'll have to see. 
All right, the a World's Fair for this decade is being... Shall we make a bid to host? $250,000. Yeah, uh, we don't have that money. Uh, it seems like the Texan army is going to defeat them in detail. We are now a secondary power again. That's fantastic news. Um, so, yeah. Ah, uh, another... Uh, it's a gold brush in uh, California. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, we got reactionaries and Jacobins in Texas. I have no idea what's going to be hap... Reactionaries, so... A dictatorship? Or are they going to... Are they going to install a king? My guess is a dictatorship. Yeah... As expected, it appears that Britain's, pro uh, Britain's presence in North America is, in part thanks to us, in, uh, too strong for the United States. Well, it looks like that uh, little revolution is over. I don't see how it did anything. And let's go with mechanized mining, since we can get that a little sooner. And then uh, after that, we really need to get to uh, attack that uh, boosts our research points. Are there any places I can build railroads at the moment? Well, there do not appear to be. So I think I'm going to need at least one more level of, uh, railroad. Alright, the Donner Party. High in the Rockies along the western trails into California. Alright, so... This is the problem with some uh, pre-determined uh, uh, events that occur, particularly in mods. It's that the uh, the fundamental conditions that led to the westward migration that uh, brought brought about the Donner Party, uh, which uh, you know was par partially uh, dependent on the uh, conditions after the Mexican-American War, in which America acquired a vast amount of new you know westward lands to exploit and settle. Um, yeah, there. This would be like there. There might be a Washington Trail, but there wouldn't be a California Trail, since uh, the uh, borders with Mexico would uh, likely not permit it. At least with with present uh, relations between the two countries. So, yeah, there. There's no real migration occurring into Mexico. Even uh, I've looked at the migration screen. No one's coming in. Or. Huh. Speak of the de you know, I suddenly it started happening. It must be the uh, public meetings that are now allowed. So that's that's great news. We've got a uh, a whole bunch of uh, Danish Mexicans now. Um, so yeah, that's great. Let's see where exactly they're coming in through. They are spe very specifically coming in uh, in 
the, uh, the, 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 the port of entry appears to primarily be the Yucatan. And then they're coming from the Yucatan into the center of the country and settling, uh... Yeah, so I guess the, uh, I take back everything I said. We've got migration happening now, so... Yeah, so we now we have all the perils of, uh, further westward migration. Um... Is there any place in this country we can now build a railroad? There does not appear to be. May need to fix that as soon as I can. Although I suspect the real railroad building uh, won't be able to start until iron railroads become available. Or the iron or steel railroad, uh, like right around here in 1860. It's not as bad railroad country as, say, Ethiopia was. Um, speaking of Ethiopia, how, how are you doing civ level wise? 37%, not bad, not bad. You may make it before 1880. I'm rooting for you, always rooting for you. In game as in real life. Yeah, we've got not as much migration as uh, uh, we got some Italians. Let's let's look at look, look at uh, what what this is uh, doing with our uh, pop levels in Mexico. It's uh, strong plurality Mexican. We've also got some uh, some uh, no Nahuatl, some Azte some uh, people descended from Aztecs, the cent very Central Americans, the Mayans. Some uh, leftover Americans and Zapotec, and I think the rest are all bundled into other and are going to assimilate over time to Mexican culture. Well, we've got craftsmen in the Yucatan now. Food and spices, let's, uh, and, uh, lumber. Let's go with a, uh, let's go with a paper mill here. Ah, we can build a railroad in Mexico proper. And I think basically nowhere else except Veracruz. Well, now there's a few couple of other places. Let's build them in all of those places then. Since we need those uh, we need those bonuses to production. got a lot more literate populations coming in so migrations boosting our literacy as well which is great news Go for functionalism. State and government, or we can uh, boost our research points with late classical theory, which we would get first anyway. Yeah, let's start with the research points. Oh, now what? Uh, what was the peace deal that was signed? Acquire colony Columbia. Fine. So. Who won then? Oh, and Hungary's independent. So, 
Sardinia Piedmont has also expanded. The, the, uh, the Bourbons appear to still be in power in France, however. Quite interesting. A lot of interesting stuff going on. But Britain got to keep Colombia, and I think that was the only term of the settle settlement. Uh, the United States is trying to uh, boost its uh, sagging, uh, trying to boost the sagging morale of its military by holding a parade. Iron artillery production. Well, we can build iron breech-loaded artillery, but um, now we want to focus on building our economy up first before we do anything else. Building our, building up our economy, our research uh, capacity. Got some Germans and Swedes coming in. Entirely possible that uh, what a Mexican is becomes a very different uh, sort of thing than we think of it in our timeline. The United States has been, uh, was temporarily at least, bumped down to secondary power status. That's probably going to change soon, since they appear to be actually in fifth place. Yeah, Great Power Sweden, that's, that's another interesting one. Maybe the Kalmar Union will reform, who knows. The United States appears to be going through a reactionary uprising at the moment. This with less, with less, uh, with less looting of of the central and western portions of the continent. Maybe it, maybe they just can't sustain themselves. Who knows? United Oh, holy shit. The eye of the storm, power of tradition. The United States has just been, uh, has just seen an overthrow of its democratic government in favor of an autocratic dictatorship. That is incredible. Wow, and I thought I had it bad. No voting. Yeah, just generally speaking, just r rip up that co constitution, shove it in the trash. It's done. It's done for. The United States, as it was, is done for. Gone. Man, that is amazing.
That is absolutely amazing. And in the meantime, our industry is starting to build up, and we seem to at least be slightly tilting in the other direction. Maybe not. We, maybe we're not there yet, or even close to there yet, but we seem to be inching our way in that direction. So, hopefully we'll fare better than them. And uh, frankly, I would think that Texas, uh, still being a... Uh, an electoral republic is not going to want any part of this uh, United States of America. So, yeah, this is... Yeah. This is, a, this is certainly a thing. And I think this is a good place to leave off for this episode. Um, yeah, a, a, a little quiet until right up there at the end when the United States... Uh, yeah. Holy shit. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, we, we will have to see next time how much further we can, uh, we can advance along our uh, journey toward bourgeois democracy in, in the, that perilous journey which the United States just, you know, toppled over the edge of the narrow trail on. But that will have to wait until next episode. Until next episode, I've been Maricotti, you have been you. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.